Now that Chrome OS 99 is officially out and available for most users, we've gone in and looked around and tried to find some interesting things that maybe you're not using right now on your Chromebook. So we have a handful of features that we've kind of been waiting around for and some stuff that showed up in 99 and some things that are still hidden behind feature flags. So we want to talk about five new features with Chrome OS 99 that you should probably be using right now. As a quick caveat, like I said, a couple of these features are behind feature flags. That means they're experimental and your mileage may vary. Sometimes they may work, sometimes they may not. But the ones we're going to talk about today are pretty straightforward. And again, some of these are already just in the operating system right now as of Chrome OS 99. So we always want to say that before we jump into these kind of things, because if there's ever an issue, just reset those flags. You can go back to the way you were before. So let's jump in, take a look. Okay, so let's start off first with the ones that need flags. So if you go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, you'll get to your flag selector. It doesn't normally look like this. I've kind of got it blown up so that you can see it a little bit clearer. Uh, the only flags we're going to enable today for these particular uh, features are the enable filters and recents, enable JXL image format. We're going to talk about all these here in a minute. Uh, the side search and then side search state per tab. So let's start with side search state per tab since that's the first one we just talked about. And we've talked about this feature before. I think in a video like this one, when it first arrived, we talked about what you could do with it. But side search is pretty simple once it's turned on. Uh, it's not technically rolled out uh, fully just yet, but uh, when it does come out, it does something simple like this. I'm going I'm to search Chrome OS 99 and it doesn't do anything yet. But once I click on the first result there, you're going to see a G pop up over here. And what that does now that I've kind of selected a search item uh, from the, uh, the search engine result page, now I've got a sidebar I can pull up that basically is mirroring that page. So now I can go and open another thing from here if I want to, and another and another to kind of keep searching this exact same thing. Well, the problem with this was it was toggled on. I might need it for this tab while I'm working, but then I need to go over this tab and do something else. The issue became as soon as I went to search for something else. So I'm just going to see what Android Android gaming tablet. That's what popped up here. And the minute I pop into here, it would be on again. And now granted it would have the search term I used in this tab, but I don't know. It was one of those things that was kind of annoying and you don't necessarily want uh, every time I open a new tab for that thing to be opened up. It's here. If I want it, I can hit the, the G logo and get and see, you know, my, my side panel here, but I don't always want this open by default. And that's what the flag here, um, this side search and then side search state per tab. It basically keeps that thing closed until you decide to open it and act upon that. And I think that's a way better way uh, for Chrome to handle the whole side search thing. It's helpful, but I like it to kind of stay out of the way until I actually say that I want it. So for the next one, let's just jump in here to enable filters in recents. And so what this is, is in your file picker, uh, there is a section over here on the left called recent. And when I click that, I'm going to see all my files here. But up here, you'll notice, I don't know if it'll let me pinch zoom. Nope, that's a system web app. It won't let me pinch zoom it anymore. Uh, but you'll notice up here now, we have a few uh, filters up here. And so I can now filter all my recents by audio, images, and videos. It's simple, I get it, but for me, on a Chromebook that I'm actually working on, I don't work on this device. This recents thing can get really, really blown out and have tons of files in there. So to quickly be able to say, I want audio or I'm looking for a particular image that I just used, this is a much easier way to sort through all of those recent files. Speaking of recent files, we have a JXL file sitting here. And that's one of the flags we talked about earlier, uh, this ability for uh, JXL file formats to work in Chrome and Chrome OS. And JXL, there's a lot to say about it and why it's important. We have a, a whole post dedicated to that on the website, but in a nutshell, it's just a much better JPEG with a lot more modern features that you would expect, like alpha transparency and animation. And, you know, the files can be compressed um, and it'd be, you know, keep their quality and be way more compressed even than a JPEG already is. So. Uh, Google and a couple other companies are working to try to make this standard a, a widely adopted thing. Obviously, you got to get operating systems to start working with a file format before it can roll out fully. And so this is a kind of a, a check to see how JXL would work uh, in Chrome. And I've got a JXL file right here that I found. And as you can see, double click it, it actually opens here. Without this flag on, this would not open. It would just throw an error file. The uh, same thing's true on the web. If you, if you navigate to a URL that has a JXL file and you have this flag turned on, it'll render it out. It looks great. Um, 
But again, there's a lot to say about JXLs. It's just really cool to see uh, already the ability to turn the feature on on Chrome OS and on Chrome. So next up is a feature that just showed up in Chrome OS 99. I thought it was behind a flag. It actually is not behind a flag. Uh, but if you open up your launcher, and it doesn't matter if you're using the productivity launcher that's over here that we've talked about before, it works just fine with that too. But the ability to uh, drag and pin apps from your launcher is now here. And that just makes things a little bit easier than having to go open it and right click it or right click it from here. You can just grab it, drag it down. It'll make some room. It'll drop in there. Then you can drag it off of there and it removes it. Nice and simple, but a much needed addition to the way that we can move apps from launcher to the shelf down here. And finally, we want to talk about a feature that was announced as part of like the, the big Chrome OS 99 announcement, and that is the ability for the camera app to actually create GIFs. And as you all probably well know, the camera app on Chromebooks is mediocre at best, and that's being pretty nice. Uh, but they're starting to add some features to it. I, I'm, ultimately, I'd like to see better cameras and some better HDR and that kind of stuff working here. But, you know, fun little features like this are pretty awesome too. So you can see the whole crew back there recording. We got Joe here, we got Andrew over there in the shadows. We're gonna go over to GIF and we're gonna do just a, a quick waving GIF. Here we go, let's wave, you hit the button and record. And you stop it and boom, you have a GIF and you can share it. You can do whatever it is that you need to do with a pretty poorly exposed GIF. Uh, it's not gonna fix any of the exposure things on the camera, but it is a fun little tool. But guys, that's it for this edition of new fun stuff to try on your Chromebook with Chrome OS 99. Chrome OS 100 is rapidly approaching. We're expecting a lot of new features in that particular release. And so obviously if you haven't yet, make sure that you go down there and subscribe. While you're down there, hit the like button as well. And make sure and ring the notification icon if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.